guys, my name is Naninga Kowe and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about a comprehensive guide to lipstick shades. I'm giving you details of lipstick shades. It's something that a lot of people always ask me, like what would be the perfect lipstick shade for me? Or they give me reasons like I don't wear lipstick because I feel it's this way, it's too bold, it's too this. Well, I'm here to solve your problems. Today, by the time you finish this video, you'll know exactly what lipstick shade to go and buy. You won't have to mix three shades to get your perfect shade. But anyway, it's 2020. We can wear whatever shade of lipstick we want. We can look as crazy as we want and life moves on. Okay, guys, life moves on whatever the circumstance, if you know what I mean. So let's just get into the video and welcome. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and make sure that you're happy when you leave this video. So guys, when it comes to choosing lipstick shades, there's a rule of thumb you have to meet. Before somebody gives you a thumbs up on your lipstick shade, you have to have met that rule. And that rule is that the lighter your skin tone, the lighter your lipstick shade. And the darker your skin tone, the darker your lipstick shade so basically that's what uh our main uh focus is on so i'm going to get into detail stay tuned about what that means and what you have to buy after you learn the what that statement means is that you can wear whatever color of lipstick you want if you want to wear red if you want to wear pink if you want to wear purple, if you want to wear blue, doesn't matter whether you're fair skinned or you're dark skinned. The difference comes in the shades of the lipsticks, okay? And I'm going to explain that in a bit. The shades basically mean that if you're light skinned or fair skinned, you're going to wear light shades. And if you're dark skinned, you're going to wear darker shades. So for example, we may have blue lipstick, okay? A light-skinned girl is going to wear light blue lipstick and a dark-skinned girl is going to wear dark blue lipstick. And if it's a case of, for example, pink lipstick, a light-skinned girl will wear light pink lipstick and a dark-skinned girl will wear dark pink lips lipstick. So let's just, let me just show you some examples so that you can remember or you can get this really well. As you can see, this is a dark shade of purple and it's looking good. So, you're better off wearing this than wearing this. This is a light shade of purple which would flatter maybe somebody with a fairer skin tone than me. Now, this is the kind of red I could wear because um, it sort of has like burgundy brownish undertones to it. And it's a perfect shade for me or someone with my skin tone. But as opposed to this lighter shade of red, which has orange undertones, this one suits a fairer skin tone. Same goes for the pink lipsticks. As you can see, this is sort of a deeper pink and it's a bit flattering as opposed to this very pale pink that yeah does not look flattering at all at all so as you've seen guys the lighter your skin tone the lighter your shade and the darker your skin tone the darker your lipstick shade but i know that there are two types of lipsticks or lip colors that people really struggle with the first one is nudes and the second one is reds now, these ones have a different sort of classification system. We can't just say like they're light red or dark red, or we can't just say light nude or dark nude. So let's just see what exactly uh, the nudes are and what shade of nude that you should wear and also what exactly the reds are and what shade of red you should wear. Okay, so when it comes to the nudes, at this point, the rule of thumb doesn't apply. What matters is that uh, the undertones, okay? The undertones is the background color of the lipstick. So basically for dark-skinned girls, 
they are flattered by brown undertones. So if your nude has a brown undertone, it's going to flatter a dark-skinned person. If your nude has a pink undertone, it's going to flatter a fairer-skinned person. So at this point, you really have to look at the undertones of the lipstick, okay? So if it's pink undertones, mm, I'd advise uh, my fellow Africans, my fellow dark-skinned people, refrain from the pink undertones yeah and uh look for the nudes that have uh, uh brown undertones even if it's a light nude and it has brown undertones it's going to flatter you okay so that's the rule for nudes uh as you can see for example i'm wearing this brown lipstick this is just a dark nude let's say a dark nude okay yeah it's one of those uh, nudes that I'm still looking for a good nude, okay? So if you have any advice, any whatever, you can just comment below which one I would use because I'm really looking for a good nude and I've not yet found one. So you know, everybody loves red lipstick. Like doesn't matter whether you're purple, whether you're green, whether you're blue, whether you're yellow, whatever your skin tone. Ladies love red lipstick. I don't know what's up with that color but anyway when it comes to reds okay like the nudes you have to look at the undertones yeah what the colors that are in the background okay the background of the red is what you're supposed to look at in order to know what is going to flatter you for example I don't know like for example this lipstick here okay I don't know if you can see it when you look at it well, eh, it looks a bit of orange, yeah? It looks like red, but it's a bit of orange, right? Like it has some orange in it. Now that means the undertones to this red is actually orange. So there are three main undertones in red lipstick. We have the blue undertones, and those are the ones that flatter the, um, what is it called? The fairer skinned people most like the ones that have blue undertones and then this orange one okay this one that does not flatter me whatsoever it sort of uh complements like somewhat fair to medium skin tones like not really dark people no so uh when it comes to dark skinned girls yeah what flatters us the most is the ones that have like a burgundy something like mm, a I'd say like a dark red, yeah? Like it has like dark brown undertones. Something like the red is there, but it has like really wine, wine red. I'd say it looks like a wine red. Like it has like some purplish, brownish, burgundish undertones to it, yeah? Like the lipstick that I showed you the previous time. Yeah, it has like some burgundy undertones to it. So... Basically, fairer skinned people have blue undertoned reds, uh, medium skinned have orange undertones, and dark skinned girls have like burgundy undertones. So that is the rule of thumb when it comes to red lipsticks. I hope you find your perfect red. And as far as I'm concerned, this is 2020. You can basically wear anything you want. You don't have to take my advice or anybody's advice. For as long as you feel good, you look good, and you feel good. I mean, nobody cares. From what I've learned, this I feel is the lipstick that always flatters dark-skinned people the most, and that's burgundy or wine red lipstick. So if you're looking for your perfect shade, I always feel like there's no shade of dark that doesn't look good in a burgundy lipstick. So go buy yourself a burgundy lipstick. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you so much, guys, for reaching this stage, the final stage of the video. I hope that you like this video and you'll also subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, any comments, any advice, you can even advise me on the best nude that you've ever gotten because I'm really looking for a good nude for dark skinned girls and I'm still here to find one. So thank you so much guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.